what would you want from Citibank? Um, you can change the world. Other than say, okay, all your debts are free and clear, blah, blah, blah. But really, what would you want? Foreclosures are unjust, and you know, there's things happening that we can And little businesses can't survive. question if you were a banker and you had the money to go ahead and give out your job was to make sure that you didn't lose the money either how would you manage this differently the way they do I mean it seems I'm just asking and again it's not a challenge but I keep hearing all this like the end of the thing and you kind of think to yourself what what I, I get the frustration right you wouldn't get the frustration what's the I mean what's the better way I mean, I wish we knew, I mean, initially in our constitution, we weren't just to have money that was supposed to put in on, you know. Oh, so you'd want to do the Ron Paul rules I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I mean, that's what we initially, was, our constitution was set up, I mean, that's the way it was supposed to be, you know, and when that law was passed, people, there wasn't a full con, there wasn't a full house, and it wasn't the two-thirds, it was two-thirds of the people that were there, not the actual number that needed, so it's just, that's not a constitution. To me, that's no and we also had slavery. I know, I know. So why would we take their advice? No, 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 but why would we take anybody's advice from George years ago? I don't understand that. That's true. No, people were against it back then, too. Even when it was. Can you name anything, or do you think of anything, like, when you want from a bank, do you want a loan? No. Do you want to be able to get interest on your money? <laughs> I suppose. I mean, no. I no? I'd rather not play at this point. Well, if you had a million dollars, at this point, you didn't have to work if you could invest your money. Would you want to invest your money? I've never put myself in a situation because people in my economic status, I don't think we're going to make a million dollars. I've never put myself in the shoes where I... Never know. You've got to be in it to win it. No. That's true. That's true. That's true. I've never thought from that perspective. I've always been the losing side. And all my friends, all my family have been the losing side. The house is being foreclosed because they can't, you know what I mean? And understand they can't pay their bills, but... I mean, they're it's a down. terrible situation for it the is. whole country. It is. It's not a solution to simply ignore it. Right. But, I mean, I think a lot of the guys I talk to still wonder, like, okay, so well, what's the solution? If you write off all those loans, right, then the banks would fail. Right. But they don't have enough money to write off all those loans. Isn't that how so what would they supposed do? to be, though? Is it supposed to be? You can't? And then what would you do? I don't know. That's, uh, that's a natural cycle of capitalism. We shouldn't be saving those people, not saving these people. Well, capitalism works very well when greed is bad. No, but capitalism does work very well for grocery store. Right, right? No, it does, it does. Banks are a little different, right? You'd get that banks are different. Yes, of course. I mean, can I, can I interject a second? No, we go right ahead. What do you say? What do you say to, to folks who are who are here mad about uh, foreclosures and 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 a lot of houses and homes, millions of homes throughout the country that are being foreclosed by banks who don't have deeds to these houses, who, who are foreclosing illegally on, on, on all these homes. Like, what, what, what's the Actually, the banks are not the ones who don't have the deed protection. You know, it's the investors that bought the loans that the banks made. Right? You understand that, right? Still, right. you wouldn't be seeing these lawsuits from, 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 from the government. Let me ask you, what would you propose? Well, I mean, you, I'm asking, I'm not here, I'm trying to find out what, what I'm you're I'm just thinking. curious. What you seem to have thinking. a different take on it. So what I'm asking you is, what do you, there's, there's lawsuits, government lawsuits against banks who have been foreclosing on millions of homes throughout the yeah, country. Yeah, fraud's been committed. They're, fraud's being committed. So right. this is what a lot of these people are here um, mad about. So what's your, how is your perspective different than theirs? Well, I think if fraud was committed, we should punish the people that did the fraud. They, you know, we should pay hefty fines for it at the very minimum. And but who are these people? Well, Bank of America, isn't they going to be charged with $30 million worth, $25 million worth of fines? I mean, maybe the fines should be bigger, but does that solve the problem for your standpoint? I'm, I'm just I'm just interested because you seem to have a different perspective. At least you're trying to find out curious. how different that perspective is. I'm just curious as to what the what the objective, uh, what's the solution? I was you know, this is like I said, this is awesome, right? You guys are out of here, you're protesting, you're you're not giving up, you're making the bankers who said, ah, oh, these guys are gonna go away in a week. It made them actually interesting, you know, you're out of here. Right? So that's the well, res there are usually bank respect. Professor Eunice, the Ram the Rami so do you think that people should have more opportunity to go to smaller, uh, non-type city banks? Should there be more opportunity for you to say have a credit union or I, I think something a credit else? union or a workers' bank is really the best. Have you ever looked into a credit union? I'm going to. Okay. And in fact, I'd like to challenge everybody that's here. If you have a credit card and a bank account, then you're really not protesting. Why not? Because because the, um, 
the banks, the credit cards. Can I ask you, do you feel uh, from, from... I agree with you, by the way, 100%. What about what local banks? Local banks? No, I agree when, you arrive, when you I arrive... I don't think that if you... I think that, I think that one of the things that we've misunderstood over the last 30 years is that most people, when I was a little boy growing up, my parents did not have a bank account. No, we they had a credit union and an SNL. All those guys became banks. We need to go back to that. That's exactly right. People who bank at Bank of America and Chase are, they're going to make a certain amount of money. It's like I said this to my wife last night. Okay, so if you want filet mignon, they go to Morton's. But if you want McDonald's, Morton doesn't sell McDonald's. So asking Morton's to sell you McDonald's isn't going to work. Find McDonald's. They'll sell you what you need. It may not be as convenient as working with Bank of America, right? You know, you want your credit card. You don't want to take the money out of your car. I mean, you want they, those. But the banks lied to us. They, they, they were, they were soliciting opportunities that were, weren't real about not you owning a home. You didn't really, you didn't really could afford it. And, and setting up at the front of colleges. Why do you think you sure believe that they get that? these credit cards? Because it was, it's really not a good system. Why do you that. think people believe that? Because people want more than they can afford. And the thing is that it's okay to have less. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful life to have less. Why do you want to not have a million dollars? Interesting discussion. How about when, when Safe Field charges or, or, or Yankee?